646 on a beautiful Sunday morning. We're getting some fiery shots from the neighborhood weather network of color in the sky. How about the view from peak internet up on top of Gold Hill in Woodland Park? 34 degrees right now, west wind at 5 miles per hour. Steel City lighting up beautifully as well. That's the shot from the Pueblo Chieftain Studio live. It's a little colder in Pueblo at 26, but the wind is calm. So that's nice to be able to pass along, and we do think the wind will be lighter through the day today. Skycast continues to show just some passing clouds through the afternoon. We're not expecting them to be terribly thick all day long, but you'll notice them out there from time to time. Temperatures look very nice again today with 50s and 60s for the plains, 30s and 40s for the mountains and mountain valleys. And with the wind maybe being around 10 to 15 miles an hour, I don't think it'll be nearly as annoying as it was for some of you yesterday. Overnight tonight, we'll continue with some clouds here across the plains, but they're not going to produce any precipitation. After midnight, we will start to see some snow move into the western part of the state, and that will increase during the day tomorrow and eventually become pretty heavy. And so the ski resorts are expecting some snow as we head into the work week. We don't expect that here, but we do expect the wind will start to pick up once again late tonight and then through the day tomorrow. So while 62 as we kick off the work week sounds lovely in Colorado Springs, I do think with that will come wind speeds of 10 to 20 miles an hour with some gusts occasionally, probably between 30 and 40. Sometimes the wind ruins a perfectly fine day. It might be the case. A little bit cooler than Tuesday and Wednesday, but we look to stay dry. We'll warm up again through Friday with highs back in the 60s before another shot of colder air begins working into the area on Saturday. I think we'll notice that more by next Sunday. Uh, bottom line, I think, through the week is that we're going to have periods of wind to contend with. At times, the wind will be strong or at the very least annoying. Pueblo 67 tomorrow will cool off into the upper 50s to around 60 on Tuesday and Wednesday before getting back into the upper 60s Friday. It's even possible on Friday we could have some spots in eastern Colorado well into the 70s, so it looks real warm through the end of the week. But again, there will be some pockets of wind to contend with throughout this period. Overnight lows, most nights in the 20s and 30s. And again, at least today, we don't think the wind will be all that bad, so enjoy it while you can. Canyon City up to about 62 this afternoon. Might have a breeze about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but certainly doesn't look too bad. The strongest wind tomorrow likely will occur over the southern parts of our coverage area. So around Canyon City tomorrow, I suppose we could see some gusts around 40 miles an hour. And then again, we'll cool off just a little bit Tuesday into Wednesday with some periods of cloud cover, but we're not expecting any precipitation. Warming back into the 60s through Friday with some cooling expected by Saturday. Mountain communities, upper 40s to lower 50s the next couple of days. will cool into the mid-40s on Tuesday. We couldn't rule out a quick little shower, probably some rain or snow mix. Uh, wouldn't amount to much. Wouldn't be everywhere in Teller County, so I'm not going to get too worked up about it. But as that cooler air comes in, there will be a little instability around. Rest of the week will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And again, we'll have some wind to contend with at times. Overnight lows in the 20s to around 30. So wind, that's our primary focus for yeah. the next seven days. It really, it looks nice and warm. It's just yeah. hard to enjoy that when you're <laughs> you know, being sandblasted or your eyeballs are being filled with dust <laughs> and everything else. Right, especially because we've had seen some very damaging winds in the past few weeks. So. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that strong tomorrow. We might have to watch folks near the Colorado-New Mexico state line. Okay. It's a little stronger down that way. But, you know, it was annoying yesterday. I think it will yeah. be again tomorrow. Yeah, good to know. Thanks, Marty. You're welcome. And